to the Institute for Women's Policy Research, a typical woman loses hundreds of thousands of dollars in lost wages over her lifetime due to this wage gap. So at age 59, a college-educated woman in the United States will have lost nearly $800,000 in wages due to wage discrimination. And the amount of lost wages is ex even more for women of color. Well, what this bill does, to remind people, is that it prohibits employers from screening their job applicants based on the prior wages and salary history or from determining a proposed salary amount for potential employees based on that salary history. The second thing that it's doing is that it's banning the practice of inquiring about a potential employer's employee salary wage history unless that employee volunteers the information without coercion. And so whether you're a man, a woman, whether you're a Democrat, whether you're a Republican, no matter what your affiliation, the sense of this is fairness. And to go forward, we as, as a state should show everyone that we are a fair state.